Okay, we're here yet again. Another finals, another tournament for Card of Magica, June Online Regionals for the One Piece card game. And we already know what our matchup is. We saw one part of it in the Perona Mirror with a GT winning. In a way, can TCG on Gecko. How do you feel yep. about it, Mr. Uh, I would say that generally Gecko is like the one thing that Perona had for it before this restriction list. Uh, with Sakazuki being a pretty rough matchup for it. But uh, we've, you know, last round we had a Perona Mirror, which, I mean, we almost could have had Perona Mirror in the finals, which would have been insane. But <laughs> yeah. um, the Perona matches we've seen, uh, they've been able to do good against Gecko. But uh, Ernesto is not just a, another Gecko player. So I think it's going to be a, a pretty decent match. Yeah, not only that, uh, I think he's very, very familiar with this matchup. He's gotten this far. He's been playing Gecko quite a while. I said before that he's quite due for a Gecko win. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's just been grinding. So if you yeah. haven't, uh, haven't been following him on stream, this is going to be the turning point and one of the worst matchups that he has. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start it out by going first as Perona, which is not the best. Yeah. So being able to deny second from them, I think, is big. Um, and we do get the Sindri. So we have a Brook, a Hina, a Hogback, Perona. And I was going to say, man, if we hit Absalom off the top there, whew, that is pretty good. That's everything, at, uh, you know, access for us. Yeah, I mean that's a pretty good top five either way. I'm not I'm not uh, uh, opposed to opening with Syndra either, so looking pretty good. We'll go top five for the baby. Might grab a ten drop if we can. Uh, but two uh, K might be good too. Oh, Rosnante. Rosie's fine. Um, I do think without great eruption, and to be honest, not a lot of builds are even running a lot of ice ages right now. Uh, without either of those, um, I think uh, a drop kit is pretty safe. Uh, and then Rosie just is like the the extra piece to make sure if we're running it. So if JT is running that in their build, it'll be good for him. Right, for sure. I think we okay. I was like, <laughs> I was yeah, like we're gonna save this, right? Yeah, making sure, yeah, it was at the Sindri. Okay. And then uh, we're gonna play Rosie for two, um, which yeah, it's fine. Um, it's interesting because like if you have an Absalom in, in trash, which is gonna check right now. If we do, we can just get rid of both of these guys. Um I mean it's not really too much else to do other than starting to to build our board out. Yeah. I mean Absalom was the one card we did not mill, so it might not be in rotation. Yeah. I mean what you could do is uh hard cast Verona, um mm -hmm. and then just swing into the baby five, get the block out. I mean, that's kind of like the best nice scenario for our Perona player, too. Because mm -hmm. that's that's probably what they were thinking. Let's see. Oh, we're just going five into likely baby number five. Yeah. Like, I'll, I'll see not. Yeah. I mean, if we do do this, if we have an Absalom in hand, too, by the way, we could just swing here. They block, and then we just Absalom and just pop it anyway, right? Just mm -hmm. hardcast it. Yeah, the other thing I'm thinking of, like, maybe this is bait, that we have, like, a three-drop brook, and we don't want to, you know, alert them that that's a play for us to get that removal. Because if, uh, if I had Absalom, I'd... Discarding the card's definitely worth it. Yeah, yeah. there's some arguments here. I, I think I think Ernesto's just trying to give his... Or keep his options open, right? I think that's a, that's a really important part when you have such little dawn to use, is that if you do have a lot of options, it's just going to make sure... But let's see what we can do with those options, and looks like Kuzan is going to be it. Yeah, and again, against a lot of decks, Kuzan is quite the menace, but for Perona, being able to rest it immediately and then either swing a big six into it and play a four drop, play like a Ryuma to get rid of it. Um, looks like we're just going to go, I think, six into their leader. Yeah, so I think resting and playing Ryuma is probably our, our best bet now. Mm -hmm. Yep, resting it, and Ryuma sure does. All right, looking pretty good on both ends. If I say it, or if if I mean both ends, I really mean Peronas, because yeah. now we're not uh, have to we don't have to worry about Kuzan. And if we have more of these Rimas, uh, it's gonna be feeling trouble for any of the four costs we're gonna be playing as Gecko, which is gonna be a good amount. Yeah. All we're right. So three. simple five. JT is gonna take the one going down to three life, and then we're gonna play Helmepo into uh luchi all right so that will get the full clear 
if the uh, Ryuma was rested, we wouldn't be able to do that, but mm -hmm. that is okay, and we'll have to see. Yeah, so I'm I'm thinking, like, what, maybe were they thinking of, like, using... I mean, if you rob Lucci effect uh, last turn, uh, Rosie can still protect the baby five before it gets removed, and so that's that's kind of a weird edge case for double removal effects. Sure. Yeah, I mean, I think this is the first Rob Lucci we've seen all day, huh? Yeah, it's, I really it's don't. pretty absent in this meta right now. Right. Pretty interesting. All right, so looking at the top three. Um, Suru are also Suru. All right, we're yeah. going to get the shiny one. Makes yeah. sense to me. Sure. <laughs> we still can get rid of this Rob Lucci if you really wanted to, which I think that's what's going to happen. Siski swing to the leader, get a Perona out from the hand, and we're going to play another Ryuma. Yeah, seems like it. Yep. Seems pretty good. Being able to get those Ryumas are nice. Um, Brand new can also potentially find something like an X Drake as well. That's true. For uh for those kind of plays, but Ryuma is generally better. Mm hmm Got a gecko. We're probably gonna respond with our own gecko this falling turn. Mm hmm Um and we can get our uh Ryuma back as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <coughs> gonna be a nine dawn. Which is nice. Seven K swing and the gecko play. And you know, I've seen some lists here and there as far as Perona. Some people saying, hey, three, play three uh, Gecko. Uh, other people playing four. And I think four is the better. Not searchable. You can't, you can't really draw it like you can for these other cards. Uh, so when it comes down to these specific instances, you definitely want to make sure you see it. We want to make sure we have that crack back. Brand new to brand new 5K to 5K. All right. Well, yeah, 5K to 5. Okay, yep, 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 yep. And then, I mean, yeah, if we have our own Moria, we'd be able um, to rest their Kuzan, play our Moria, get rid of their Kuzan with our Ryuma. Yeah, but not swing seven's interesting here because we're going to be tapping all of it. Yeah. Oh, no, we're still tapping eight. There you go. Yeah. Let's not misplay like our opponent did last time. We're going to tap it down. And oh, I see why. So we're gonna play Ryuma to rest it, and then we're gonna use that one extra dawn for baby five search. Ah. And so this, uh, this is gonna be able to help us try to find a Don Quixote do Flamingo, which I don't think we've found one yet. We might have found one off the first search, but no, that was for, that was off. That was a Rosie. That was a two drop Rosie. So if yeah. we have a ten drop Dofi, we grab it, and if we don't. Uh, uh, two K's. <laughs> two K, I mean, that's a possibility we still have one in hand, especially after two searches. Yeah, getting the two yeah. K here, I think that's probably fine. I, I, I'm pretty sure uh, my heart of hearts is telling me that we have one in hand. We yeah. might want to put that right back into hand, though. Yeah, the Virgo. Put yeah, the, put the Virgo in the hand. Well, it'll, it'll get there. I'm I'm sure it will. Put the Virgo in the. It's it's the stage Virgo stage. No, put the Virgo in my hands. No, activate, you have six cards in hand, not five. Activate counter. You have <laughs> put the Virgo in the hand. All right, I'll I'll let the judge know. You can let the judge know. Yeah. The Virgo in the hand, baby. Put the Virgo in the hand. Put the Virgo in the hand. Yep, oh, there, there it goes. There, there, there it is. Go. All right. Oof. So we have six in hand too, because it go. makes a difference, right? It like a hundred makes hundred percent makes a difference for Prona and other guards. Yeah. All right. Well, Hamapo got rid of the brand new. Just deciding if we want to swing into the Rayumas to to get rid of the. Um, Hamepo afterwards. Um, I mean, there there is a mind game where we need that Hamepo in our trash to be mm -hmm. able to play it again off another Moria. Yeah. So that that is a play. That is like a sneaky play to make sure he gets there. I think he may as well. 
You may as well. Ten is a lot, though. I don't think you need to go ten. All right. If he plays Helmepo again, I think he is. Yeah, yeah. See, I I would have asked for. Ooh, yeah. Ice Age Helmepo. Yeah. They don't have another Helmepo in there. Yeah. I I would not have put it in there. Mm hmm. I think that was a bait. Yes, it was. Now we're the baby, as well as the gecko, are going to get removed here. Which doesn't feel great. Yeah, but we had Suru in there anyways, right? So, 5 yeah. and 2, it wasn't a big deal. Yeah, yeah, it's the same as having a Hell Map out there, so. Both so. Yeah, not not a huge deal. Yeah, I say it's really uh, bridge the gap. And we can go 5 into leader. Um, issue here is that um, oh, we're just not attacking either. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I wonder why not. I don't know. All right, so... I mean, we can still stun three things because we can rest the Rob Lucci with leader effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're going to do that. We're going to go six into assumedly leader. Put an Absalom in there. And looks like we might be playing another Moria. All right, we're actually going to be playing Bellamere. Interesting. Yeah, that is quite interesting. Unless we have our own Ice Age or something. I don't know where this is going. Yeah. So we're going to go six into maybe Lucci. Uh, it must be Lucci because we got the one. Yeah. And then, yeah, I guess Ice Age, get the rest on the other Moria. All right, Suru there. So cost five. Nope. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, hmm. Okay. So we're doing another reduction and then Ryuma? I, I guess yeah. so. But yeah, like, because we are used the resting effect on. The, the Luchi. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, this is mostly fine. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think that was a misplay, though. Um, but I, I didn't, we didn't have to play with the Belmere, and we didn't have to use the resting effect, which meant I think we had to play like an extra card to get there. All right. And now we're just math is a little it. off. Yeah. Huh. Okay, well, um, you have to be careful with this Rob Lucci swing, especially if we're trying to get rid of one of these four drops. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's a number of things that we can do as Gecko. Yeah, honestly, it just kind of gets down to who can make, who can put more big bodies on board, right? Mm-hmm. Because I think the boards are about average. Uh, Perona's hand's a little healthier, and they're both at three life. Yeah. Yeah, there's gonna be a couple turning points in this next these next couple of turns for sure. Just depends on how they both navigate it. We're chopping up our uh, dawn a little bit. Might be um, some specific swings. Might be another uh, gecko. To e show, imagine that. Imagine, um, I, I, I could, oh, okay, but imagine. Let's see, how about we see um, I think you just swing into the Ryuma, yeah, because you kind of just need to let it go, unfortunately, yeah. Uh... I mean, you could protect it. It's just two cards in the hand. I think that's just better off, like, not... Or cards. Those cards mm -hmm. are better off literally anywhere else. 
Um, you don't have to worry about the Suru. I think you start swinging face. You can go seven, seven, six, and then uh, another gecko. Or seven, seven, another gecko. But I, I think we're doing something a little different now. Nice no, so yeah, seven, six, gecko. Um, okay. Now what? Now what indeed? So we, I mean, we still got 10 Dawn left. Um, I mean, if we have another eight drop, this would be what our third copy. Mm -hmm. And I don't think we're going to be able to remove Moria unless we have extra stuff. Um, it could be Rebecca Sabo. Um, yeah. I'm putting the Sabo on the top. True. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it looks like Rebecca Saba is going to be close to the play. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We did do that. We're going to go ahead and grab or play Sabo. One that we just got. Pitch out the Hina. And what are we doing to the last non? The swing six to face? Yeah, because, I mean, they didn't, they didn't have Moria last turn. But you know what the funniest thing we can do is? Pass. Oh, okay, that's very funny. But <laughs> we know. can rest the Rebecca and just have Suru attack into it. Uh, yeah, I think that's gonna. Happen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're not gonna swing at life, you may as well swing at the Suru that can combat your. Uh... Oh, we saved it! Wow. No, swing at it. Swing at it. Yeah, keep it going. <laughs> swing at it. That's I, don't that, I don't know if that Rebecca's worth a a one k. Saving. But... I mean, if they just ignore it, yeah. That's funny though. That's super yeah, funny. That's very funny. I mean, clearly thinking about it, oh man, because like you want to play another Dofi, right? And by Dofi, another one, I mean your <laughs> first copy. Mm -hmm. All right, fine. Okay, we get the Rebecca. Nice. All right, if we're playing Brook, that would be nice. Because mm. we can uh, reduce it by one. Oh, no, we already used the uh, the effective leader to rest the Rebecca. Yeah, so Correct. Can. Yeah. I don't often see that effect, but it does come in handy. I think, uh, I think Delphi's still fine. Just swing into face. Uh, they may block with only two cards in hand. And just go for... Over the Dovey, but it looks like we're just gonna go ahead and sob ourselves. Mm-hmm. And we can I think uh well, I mean we just make Gecko as big as we can and then are we attacking the Rob the the Rob Lucci? All right, can't pop anything because of the Sabo effect. That's fine. It's a pretty decent board for Prona. And not a whole ton of cards for Ernesto. So yeah, unless they're... one of these these are like a Rebecca or like a um, a Gecko, it's going to be hard to come back. Yeah, it would have been nice to uh, to get rid of the... Um... The Rob Lucci. I, I don't know if it, I'm not, we can't hear. I don't know if it was just a 10. I mean, a 5 6 for tempo is not terrible, right? Um, but definitely, I don't know. I, I think we're fine. I think we're in a fine spot. All right, so Nesto is looking at it. We've got Tendon, we've got Moria, we've got Lucci, three cards in hand. Uh, three cards in hand to two cards in hand. All right, nine. Where is it heading? Suru. Oh, Incorrect. <laughs> Ryuma it is. Dang. Close. 
Yeah. And also we did play X Drake after the uh the Sabo, so mm -hmm. there's a uh if we can remove it, we should. Yeah, <clears throat> that's only if they did it. Or if they remove it. Or they remember, sorry. If they're not mm -hmm. remembers. Alright, nine. Into I'm gonna guess uh, Moria. Mm. I'm gonna discard Rebecca milling to a Moria and a an ice yeah and a hog back to get Moria back. So yeah, this this is why like this can be tough. We're they have to take a turn off from playing Moria's, but being able to get that recycle potential is really big. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with you. Only two cards in hand. Probably can't do exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Bring back uh, cards out of their trash, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Kind of have to work with what they got. And um, dwindling on cards for sure. Yeah, and then Rebecca once again. Oh, Suvers got him back in. <laughs> <laughs> Suru's tasting. Get him, Suru. Get him, Suru. Ernesto is definitely trying to play around this uh this Dofi, right? Like that's mm -hmm. that's definitely what's what's going on here. Yeah, but this is like as good a turn as ever if we have it. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, Suru, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two for two. Undisputed, undefeated, two oh. Suru. And Ernesto has what? I think three cards in hand? Uh yeah. Two cards in hand? I and we know one of them. We know one of them is Gecko. Yeah, I I so think you just swing face. Yeah, just swing face. Play play the ten drop if you have it. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. two cards now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. one of them was a Perona. I, I think he put picked a Perona before. I, I might be wrong. Oh, okay. We're trying to get rid of the Gecko. Yeah, that's smart. That's fair. And then I mean, do we have do we have Gecko number three? Oh, if we have Gecko number three, we're just better players. I think we do. I think we do. We don't. Uh, it looks like we have Borso, and then for two, uh, oh, double Four. Borso. Okay, that's yeah. arguably better. <laughs> e yeah, because if we're taking a turn to Gecko, we're in such a better game state as JT than mm -hmm. uh, Ernesto. Like, sure, go ahead and try to remove our our um, X Drake, and because I mean, like, I'd rather trade off the five key attacker for a six. Mm -hmm. And best Ernesto can do is probably get go Rebecca. But we get rid of the Rebecca for free. Um, yeah. So, it's, yeah. yeah. It's going to be tough. It's going to be it's, really tough. It's, it's definitely showing the matchup disadvantage here, right? Like, that's that's that's, that's what's, what's, uh, what's going on here. Mm -hmm. um, it's possible. I mean, we're at two life. Got a get go. We're going to make some magic happen. And with no cards in hand, I don't believe as uh, as Perona, we can at least get rid of the X Drake. All right, going to start with a simple six. I'm going to guess this is right at the the X Drake. Yeah, either you block or you goes, and it's going to go. Can't rid of, get rid of the get-go. It's just literally something you got to worry about, unfortunately. And as Perona, I'm probably cool with taking at least one here. Yeah, I mean, we've been kind of starved on, on cards. We have zero on hand right now, which is uh, in before. <laughs> Where are the Where is his hand? Why is his hand off screen? It is completely on screen. He, he, he just doesn't have one. <laughs> just doesn't have one. I think... Uh, I think it's a little bit tough. I think if you're gonna do it, then like you take you you swing twice for six, mm -hmm. and then you play the gecko. Um, and a pro is gonna take one and then block the other very likely, yeah. unless when the the one card that they take is useless, then you just counter out with it. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I mean it, it's not very many options you you're 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 gonna be presented with here. Uh, for Ernesto, unfortunately, you're just gonna have to 
play the literal two cards in hand, which is going to be Gecko, excuse me, and um, no removal. Like none, none of the, none of the combos outside of like removing Sabo, um, is going to help you here because I think you can do. Let's see, Rebecca Hina, Brook. Can you do Brook? No, you're off by you one. You can, but it doesn't remove anything. Yeah, with with Helmepo. Yeah. Yeah, you're off by one. Um, and that's and that's my scenario with uh, Mori. Is sometimes like, Great Eruption got you into so much range for stuff. But oh, okay, mm. all right. We can use this to get rid of the. Are we getting Sabo. rid of Stabo? Interesting. I don't think you have enough for the Gecko. You would need the same exact setup as we did before. Oh, sure. Why not? Question mark. I feel like yeah. you, you should Gecko instead. You get like so much more value outside of just like a Borsalino block and an Absalom pop on the Sabo. Yeah, and we're pitching the Gecko because it's a non counter card in hand. Um, yeah, but I don't know, man. And then what? Do we just block with Borsal? Yeah. And then yeah. yeah, you block. I think that's what it... oh. Wait. Oh. Uh I think you block. No Dawn. Yeah, you block hundred percent. Yeah. Block. Because Gecko is gonna give you way way more value than these two uh, yeah. these Borsos. And what you can go nine, ten, ten? Yeah, you can effectively take game. I mean we did we did uh it's the get-go, so we know that that one non-counter card is gone. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, this is just basic one piece now. This is basic one piece. You don't have to. I mean, there's no uh, what. I don't. There's no triggers there, and mm -hmm. if you go, honestly, if you like go this. seven, I like, I like stabbing first. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They... I was gonna say is if you have if you have seven, you're more likely to win with the rest yeah, of the. Yeah, they just go to zero cards in hand if. If they can get out of it, because that's be two K one K or two K two K. Yeah. And then if they didn't get out of that, you can go nine, and then eight on five is thirteen. Yeah, seven's so much better. All yeah. right, we got it. So then we just play board clean up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Resume Ryuma would be pretty sick here, because then we can uh, rest. Probably Absalom. Hop and swing. And you're good. Yeah. Because we, we got to kind of play board cleanup. Mm-hmm. Five into there. Nine into there. And what was our top deck? Another Borso. Uh, oh, Virgo. Oh, Virgo. Okay. <laughs> All right. Because we know we're not losing here. Yeah. You know, just basic one piece, like I said. But we're in this weird game where, like, Moria can just kind of loop their hogbacks. Yes. yes. Also, what does remind me? Of, what is Virgo's effect? I, I was literally put up pulling it up. I was trying yeah, to I find think this. He set. doesn't get a. He can't, he be, can't KO'd. be KO'd by battle, which is actually going to be pretty funny. relevant, I think. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Not by All effects, right. unfortunately. Yeah. Nine there, and then. There you are. We got seven minutes left. It was a crazy game. Yeah. Pretty wild. Pretty appropriate for the uh for the final match for sure. Um, okay. Uh, I'm gonna play the hot back to get a two K, I guess, right? Or a gecko. We're swinging into the borso, which means we're probably not gonna have enough attacks. Excuse me. So the two K is gonna be irrelevant, technically. Um, Ernesto is just rapping right now himself, or his opponent. Maybe trying to throw him off. Uh, yeah, I mean, those are the two options. It's going to be a 2k or the gecko. 
Honestly, Gecko's not terrible. I, th I think Gecko's probably going to do a little bit better for you. Because, like, you got to imagine that, like, if they have zero attacks, like, your your board's gone at the very least. Uh, If they have removal of some sort, they can remove that. The Perona is going to be kind of useful if they just swing. I, yeah. I uh, Perona is... I understand why Perona was picked, right? But... And for, for what it's worth, JT is also in just like top deck mode, right? Yes. Um, where I think we just go, I mean, it just depends on what we get, right? Yes. But being at three life, we systematically can't lose next turn because Moria doesn't play any cards with Rush. No. Uh, Virgo having protection is pretty silly. And if we get them down to zero life, they need to play two blockers. Our leader just gets around it. Mm-hmm. It doesn't look like we top decking removal either. Mm -hmm. so, like we can get uh Gecko down to one. Mm -hmm. Um, but you're gonna have to play something that's just gonna survive. Which is uh not like super possible sometimes. Yeah. And additionally, I mean it really just depends what we get, right? If I got like Ryuma um yeah we we definitely play that uh x drake pro like anything that we can use to remove a, a body i think is fine um i want to be able to put the one dawn on virgo because i think battle is actually going to be battle protection is actually going to be kind of relevant when it's like nine ninety nine percent of the time it's, it's not so mm -hmm. i think we're just trying to find out what numbers make sense with the card we just top decked mm-hmm and I think we have to go at least seven uh, twice because we know that they added that Perona. Yep. Seven twice will leave you with, what, eight or um, six on left? So, like, maybe a Brook is in our scope here. All right. So uh, we Those... take the 6K, so that goes there. What the heck is for nine, then? Yeah, that is a very good question. Because if you're not tapping nine for this, I, I think this was probably the worst misplay that you can make. All right, we're going to go five into life. And then what, Moria for eight and then paying one? For baby five. Baby five, maybe? Um, Why? I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't no, get it. No, this is, this is a misplay. This is because you you definitely is... could have put them to zero uh, with that three dawn open. I I don't get that or four dawn open. I do not get it. Yeah, yeah. That, At that least was... attach a dawn onto Virgo in case something happens. That's true. That's for battle. So. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know why we kept that four dawn open. Um, I don't either. We're not playing Gecko. No, we we'll we'll play, on. We'll play uh, Sabo, I guess. Sabo's like best chance, I think. But even without that, like it's it's gonna be tough. Yeah, I don't. As I mean, maybe they play Punk Gibson. Maybe, right? But like I think going seven seven and still playing the Virgo, that would have been nine dawn and we would have had one open. And either put them to zero life or yeah, I think that, that would have just been stronger too. Oh, man, but did was... we did we attack him to the Virgo and not recognize that? We might have done that. So uh <laughs> I, I get like not wanting to kill for, uh, Hogback, but setting your opponent to zero was the was the thing that I think that we could have done. Yeah, because like what are we like they can Sabo's blockers, but the only block that's relevant is Sabo. Which yeah. means you can't play like you would have to Rebecca into Sabo. And oh, yeah. Hope mm -hmm. for the best. Yeah. So we did attack into to Virgo not knowing it was protected. And then we got six Don to work with. This has been a very confusing match. Yeah, it's it's been a long day though. I I understand. I understand it's been I, a long day. I get it. I definitely get it. 
All right, we're going to hog back. We're going to get Perona. But with three attacks on board, two cars in hand, and they're all 5Ks, I think it's going to be unlikely for Ernesto to survive this next one. Yeah. Um, first swing should be seven. Uh, it sure is. <laughs> should be seven. Uh, yep. Next swing should be... You could go seven. Yeah, we're going to go five and then big and then put the rest 13. On the leader. Yep. GG's. There he goes. Man, three First... 2Ks in hand, though. <laughs> he was trying. Yeah, he was, he was, he was, he was really getting the resources together. Yeah. Um, wow. What, a, what an interesting match. I would say, you know, there's some questionable things, I, I think, just from bird's eye view. And after, you know, knowing that these guys have been playing over and over and going undefeated over and over and over in 10 rounds. Yeah. Kind of got to this point, but JT Laura has taken down Ernesto for the final match in this June online regional for Carta TCG. What Carta TCG? And man, we are one PCCG are... <laughs> Magica. And man, we're just—I was going to say—we're just hitting the tire. We're if if we're saying we're allowed to misplay too, right, Brian? It's been a long day for us as well. And uh, yeah, we can we can call it that. Some of us longer <laughs> days from from longer weeks, but that's yes, okay. yes, that's okay uh yes <laughs> uh yeah good old 7 a.m start and we're here about four o'clock right here now 10 rounds later like i said jt with perona has won and taken it down this tournament so congratulations to them mm -hmm. uh, uh thank you carta for hosting an awesome um uh event and uh anything else mr hayden nope nope should be good um this is on Carta Magica's Twitch and YouTube. I think Decklist will probably be out Monday morning on their socials too. So make sure to be on the lookout for that. And that's really it. I really appreciate Carter letting us do this. And uh, to honestly just experience this fun little format. Um, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of Perona uh, for this one. My I would have played Wano even though it was uh, undertuned, but it definitely looked like the Navy, the Navy Dofi package is really strong. And uh, just a really big congratulations to, to JT for the win with it. Yeah, it was really cool. Uh, like I said, Perona players rise up. This is your time. <laughs> Even though this I, is the, I think this is the last event of this format, right? It is. And I, I unironically just bought a Perona All Art Leader because I've been putting it off, and I don't want it to spike in the next <laughs> couple hours. So. That's fair. Hopefully, but not. if you need a TCG player link, let me know. I can give you one. Just all right. <laughs> that is our cue to get out of here. So we will see you guys in the next event. Thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you, Carta, and everybody on the judge staff for uh, putting up with us and as well as just running the event. Hold on. Okay. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, boss man. Okay. Uh, we're good. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Cool, uh cool. I think that is I think that is all there is. We'll see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned because all of the I, I as I understand all of the matches will be on the Card of Magica YouTube, which if you're watching there, just go ahead and subscribe there. Don't be weird. We'll see you guys in the next one. See you next time. Bye bye.